Hello everyone, welcome to your first QB64 tutorial. Now before we begin, I'd like to give a short explanation on what QB64 actually is. Now if you're familiar with basic programming, then you should know what this is. This is just an updated version of that language. It's a very basic language. It's perfect for beginners and people who have no experience with programming. And these tutorials are with the anticipation that you know nothing of programming. And so before we get into actual into any actual coding, I would like to do an overview of the actual program to help you get familiar with it. Right, we, right here we have file, new in case we want to start a new project, open in case we want to open any other projects that we've already made. We have save and save as, pretty self-explanatory, recent projects that we've already done, update, there are currently no updates so that doesn't really do anything and exit of course we want to exit the program right here we have edit just like Microsoft Office we have cut copy paste and clear what clear does is we can type in a line of code or anything really like for instance hello if we highlight it hit clear clears the line we also have select all if we have multiple lines of code and keep in mind that this is not code this is just words say we have multiple lines of code we have select all and this selects all our code. Right here we have undo, redo, pretty self-explanatory. Comment, uncomment, we'll be getting to that later. New sub and new function, getting to that later. Subs, we're not there yet. Find, if we want to find a word in the program, we won't really be using that. Repeat, last find, change, we won't really be using that. Bookmarks, not really. Go to line, no. So the search, we will not be using in these tutorials. Run, very important if we want to run a program. Now, I, I can just go ahead and run this program. Here, wait for it to create the exe. And as you can see right here, we have a blank window. However, we have no coding, so it's just going to be blank. So unless we have any coding, if, we, if you hit run right here, you'll just get a blank window. Also very important, in my opinion, F5 will run your program. That will be very convenient for you. It's very convenient for me. And start detach won't be playing around with that. And make exe only, that's if you want to build your actual application. Right here we have options. And the only thing you really want to play around with is the display, in my opinion. A display is if you want to make your window smaller or bigger, to your preference. And last but not least, we have the help if you want to look up your keyword index, which is basically a list of all your keywords and what they do. So as you can see, this can be useful see all these keywords. I recommend you go and look at that throughout the tutorial from time to time. And that's pretty much it. QB64 is a very good language to learn, in my opinion. And it's, you can do a lot in it, really. Even though many people will tell you that this language is very basic, which it is, it's very basic, it's a great program for beginners. It's, I recommend that every programmer should know this language because this is the perfect language that you can begin with. And once you learn this language, uh, you can easily learn Python and stuff like that. And so, I highly recommend that you go through these tutorials, or even if not my tutorial, someone else's tutorials with this language because it's a good language to learn, it's good for beginners, and I know I said that a million times, but it really is good for beginners. And so I do hope that you enjoy these tutorials, and I hope you find these helpful. I will try to explain things the best I can, and do look for tutorial 2 for some coding. And so thank you so much for watching, and I bid you farewell.